My name is Maciek Bonczyk. I am from Poland, from Wrocław. I'm a visual, audiovisual artist. I'm, I'm basically working with sound and, and, and moving images, mostly. I made an exhibition here in Centrala. <laughs> It's called Testimony in Practice. This is a project by um, Birmingham University. They ask Eastern European people who remember the breaking moment in Europe between the 80s and 90s, uh, communistic times and uh, 89, which is uh, the crucial moment for changing politics in Europe. And then they ask uh, some artists to uh, reinterpretate or artistically interpret these testimonies and prepare the exhibition. What I've done was based on uh, six different pieces of the testimonies. I just choose these phrases or words or some part of the text which were the most in interesting for me and I create some visual art about that. Between all of that uh, testimonies, there was uh, one testimony of, a, as I remember, a girl in 1989 on December. It was the a very uh, important moment in Romanian politic uh, history. Nicola Ceausescu and his wife Elena, they, 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 uh, they were killed uh, after a short trial. Um, and that's how the story in Romania changed drastically. She remember this moment from the television that they are showing it again and again constantly as a loop. VHS system and this quality of an image, it sounds familiar for, for my audiovisual things. But I decided not to use these this, uh, drastic things uh, of how they died. But I found a very interesting moment when at 22 of December Nicolae Ceausescu has his, own, his last speech for the people and when he realized that people don't want to hear him anymore so he understand that this is the end of his power and uh, and he stuck somehow he was talking and then he realized that people are not hearing him anymore and he tried to say something and he stuck like uh, uh, uh. and that was the most interesting part of this short video so I, I used this moment when he stuck when he tried to say something, I slowed it down and looped, and he tried to, you know, scream to the to the people, "Please uh, listen to me, uh, be calm." Yeah, something like this. It sounds a bit like he is is he's trying to call you, like "Hello, hello." So I decided to use the telephone. One work that I can tell you about yeah, is the work with the magnified glass. So this work technically is video uh, when you see how a uh, picture which is on the film stock, on a, on a positive, on this uh, photographic emulsion, is uh, melting because of the bleach. And it's very small, it's very small, so that's why you have a magnified glass and you can look as a kind of small laboratorium. The plot is about uh, a Polish communistic times because there, there is two small videos one is a melting butterfly which is you know melt and back melt and back because it's a constant loop and the other video a small one is with our prime minister communistic times 70s Edward Gerek so he's just speaking to the public and doing gestures like every politician do nowadays also like oh blah 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 and looks like typical you know squarish guy the butterfly usually has very short living, yeah? So you never know, as a politician, you have to, you know, be careful because today you're a king like Ceausescu, but tomorrow you could down and, and, and very deep sometimes, dramatically. In other works, there are two films, which is mostly like a slideshows, and, and it uh, reminds uh, these times where you have a uh, slide or DR projectors and you have a positive slide photographic and you can just you know change it one by one looking for and these uh, these uh, pictures which I used were from propaganda uh, albums and shots for the people just to present Poland or DDR or Czechoslovakia as the best country ever so I used the testimonies of some people who were 
talking about the communistic times and, and, and mix it with these pictures from the propaganda albums and, and, and the other slides, positives. And yeah, I tried to make some kind of confusing combination that you not 100 pretty sure if I like uh, the communistic time or not. Because, you know, it's a complicated thing. As, uh, as, as a child, I remember 80s very well. But on the other hand, I, I, I remember that it was grey and, and sad times. You know, in, the, in Poland between 1981 till 1983, the soldiers were on the streets and everything was forbidden. There was no concerts. Yeah, that was a really sad moment. Polish history is it's very sad history, I, I must say. But even in this sadness, I was a kid, I have a friends, we play each other, you know, we, we have fun. I, I have really great parents, I, I spent a great childhood, so uh, as everyone who have a good childhood, he remember even poor times, which is nice, yeah.